All right, let's start him. Let's see, we're gonna put the parts. Let's put the, uh, the instructions up. And you can see the, that's what they have for part one. You know what, I think I wanna start with the base. Where is, let's see, right here. So, let's start with the base. Now, I was thinking of a couple of different things. Let's put the parts aside for now. to do a little something special with the candelabras. So I was kicking around the idea of putting fiber optics through and having it lit. And maybe doing the, um, maybe doing a candle or something lit on the, uh, the skull, like a little candle on top of his head. But why don't we go ahead first thing, we're gonna take this off the base. see all the coins that are spilled all over the place. <clears throat> now we're going to be using gold, but as you guys can imagine, we got a pile of plunder on the floor. And it's been around a long time, so it's dirty. There's probably gold doubloons. There are probably pieces of eight, uh, the silver, and there may even be some copper. So what I think we're gonna do is when we paint the gold, we're gonna put the gold base down and then I'm gonna go in, hopefully you can see the individual coins and we're gonna do silver coins and we're gonna do copper coins as well. I think that's the first thing we need to do is put an actual base coat down. I need one of those little uh, paint mixers, the little things you put in and it shakes kind of like they have at Lowe's. All right, let's... All right, I'm gonna have to update my paints because these are so old. And you can see we've got the gold. You can see that's a little bit better. We'll go around. And again, it can't be so thick where we gotta lose the um, the detailing of the plastic. see all the detail in all the coins 
And like I said, what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to highlight some of the coins. But we got to wait for this to dry. So, once it's dry, we'll be ready to move on. Okay, so it had some time to dry. You think I would have learned it's stuck to the paper. You can see that looks pretty cool. It's still just a little bit tacky, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to put it on to, let's see, we'll put it on this, and we'll let it dry thoroughly. Now when it comes to the wheel, you can see the ship's wheel, let's see, the wheel, is that covered? That's in step five, and you see there's only two parts to the wheel, so maybe we can do that. We're going to put the glue in. And again, we're not going to need a ton of it. Um, let's put some into the little, the little channels. Maybe we can put some along the edge, and maybe a little bit on the uh, the spindles, and we'll do just a little bit along the outside of the wheel. And you can see it's going to line up with the pegs. And let's see, we're going to we're going to close it like that. There. All right, that should be good. So let's put this aside for now. Like um, a little highlight. All right, so you guys can see the the cover or the, the tip and let's see let's put it right onto the um, there I'm not sure if you can see it let's see it'll be right there so we've got a silver coin on the gold. I'll take the tip and I'll put it into the silver paint like that and we'll dab it on. Oh, that's good. That's a lot better. That's looking pretty cool. There, you can see, hopefully the camera picks up the little pieces of eight scattered throughout the gold doubloons. Hopefully you get the end. You can see it's partially buried. And let's see if we can do the, uh, the sword. You can see the sword partially buried. Yeah, maybe we'll give it a, another coat once it's dry to make it look shiny. Same thing with the candelabra. Maybe the chalice. You could probably make that silver as well. Looks like it was there's a little bit of an indentation where the cup is on the side. Maybe it got damaged during its plunder. There we are. What we'll do is we'll just touch up a bit of the uh, the gold around it, and it'll be just fine. And the same thing with the. Uh, it's still a little tacky on the blade. But what we'll do is we'll, we'll let that dry.
give just a bit of contrast to all of the gold and silver. There. And again, don't worry about the touch up. It'll look pretty good when you touch up the gold. And I don't think there's anything else that's on here that's going to be red. The white, we're going to do the bones, the hand. See the hand right in there? All right, let's... see the hand pirate to the end trying to grab that gold even in death so with the plates I'm thinking that we can do white and we can do a maybe a blue outline of the plate Let's see how that looks all right why don't we go ahead, we'll, we'll let that dry. Then we'll come back, we'll give it a second coat and we'll do some touch-ups. Silver coins amongst the gold. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put some copper on. Copper coins. And I'm gonna use <clears throat> the Aztec ink testers paint, the copper. The Enterprise deflector dish copper. So what I'm gonna do with this is we're gonna use a toothpick. And let's see, we'll put it right on this one for now. And hopefully you can see that, how cool that looks. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Just to give it some contrast. So you can see there are different coins in there. Nice. All right, dinnerware from the Titanic. I think I want to put little blue outlines. So let's see if I can actually do that without making it totally messed up. All right. This is totally messed up. This leaked everywhere. But what I wanted to do is give it kind of like that fine, that fine china, kind of like the first class Titanic dinnerware. There we are. That looks a little bit better. I'm trying to get all the sides so you can tell that it's actually a candelabra there and that it's 3D. Uh, the cup, I'm thinking the cup looks pretty good the way it is. That's the only other area where we really need the black. So, that looks pretty cool. What a difference from when it was just the plastic, huh? All right, I think that's it. Like I said, we're really running low on this and we're gonna need this for the um, for the treasure chest, you know, the guy's head. That says gold in here too. All right, let's check on the, uh, the wheel. You see we had clamped it, so let's take the clamps off.
can see the gaps have filled nicely. You can see the part that we're going to use. The bottom. You can see the little spider on the guy's head. And we need the lid. And a little piece of we got the treasure chest. You can see how it's going to look. So this is all wood, and it's got the leather straps on top, and the ship's wheel is all set to go. So why don't we get started and we're actually going to paint it. All right, you can see the wood grain. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put the first color. We're going to use the darker brown, and this is brand new, so you have to shake this for a while. Again, I thought about using the uh, the paint gun with this, but the paint gun, if, if this was supposed to be nice and brand new and shiny, then I would use the paint gun. But this has been off the ship for a long time. And it's not in the best condition. You figure it's been exposed to the water any elements. It probably has moss on it. Yeah, it's drying pretty quickly too. That's a good thing. And as we come along to this side, These parts are going to come out really nice with the wash. It'll bring out everything. Yeah. All right, let's put this aside and let this dry now. And we can move on to the box where you can see the, uh, the guy's head. And of course we have the top of the treasure chest. So what I'm thinking is we'll do the whole, th we'll do the, the wood parts and then maybe I'll do the inside like a red. There, so we got the inside all set. I'm gonna go over the the leather straps with the black, but we just want to get it to the point where everything is going to be covered. I just make sure we got everything covered up. Yeah. So when we do the wash, we'll uh, bring out all the wood detail. Okay, so that one's there. This one might be a problem. Well, actually, no, we can do it this way. All right. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do all the inside. And that'll just be a continuation of the, the black uh, leather parts that are gonna go on the back. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I want to keep the skull, the glow in the dark plastic. So we're going to carefully color in the, uh, the gold around his head and we're going to color in the spider on top, but I want to keep the actual glow in the dark plastic. Um, yeah. All right. So we had some time to dry. That looks pretty cool. And I think before we do the gold, um, we're going to do the, uh, the wood grain.
I was thinking of maybe making it a way to close it and then open it. But I'm not sure what to use for the hinges. That would be pretty cool to make it like half open and then light it. But yeah, I'm not sure what to use for the hinges. Plus I'm hindered because one of them is broken off. As for the ship's wheel, <clears throat> it came out pretty good. Now the wood in the ship's wheel is going to be a lot more durable than the wood on a treasure chest. You see how you can see the grain a little bit more? And the ship's wheel is meant for the elements, the harsh ocean air and the, uh, the ocean water, the salt water. But see the grain going across? I think what we're going to do, we're going to do just a bit of the... Uh, grain yeah you see how it's kind of cross grain and we're keeping just a bit visible yeah all right let's put that aside to dry And we're going to do the same thing for the bottom. Yeah. And we'll <clears throat> we need to put that over here to dry. All right, let's do a bit on the ship's wheel now. Just a, just a little touch, because you figure the ship's wheel is going to be much more seaworthy or durable than the uh, treasure chest. To stand the test of time, it's going to be a lot thicker. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Maybe some mildew, some mold. You figure it's in a dank cave somewhere. Yeah, that looks pretty good. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna let that dry. Let's start with uh, with this, so we can practice doing that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, let's do the other side. I don't know why the camera doesn't seem to want to focus. Right. <clears throat> Let's do this side now. There we are. That's pretty good. All right, let's put that over there to dry. And let's see, we're going to do the uh, straps on the chest itself now. Yeah, we don't really need a whole lot.
Here we go. And we'll put some moss on it and then we'll kind of give it a wash. Maybe to bring out some of the uh, some of the wood grain. But like I said, we're gonna do a wash on it, so I don't want a lot on the brush when we do this. Hopefully the camera can, can see that sitting on that guy's head. And what we can do now is we can move on and we can actually do the gold. These pens really come in handy. Let me show you guys the inside. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That kind of has the effect that I want. There. Again, when we put the wash in, we'll be able to see that it's all torn and tattered and all right. So looking pretty, pretty cool. Again, we don't want it to look new and shiny. We want it to look old and well, horrible. All right, why don't we think about doing some of the moss now? We're going to use the dark green. And then we're going to have him standing like right here. Like that. So where are the holes for his feet? You can see there's one over there and one over there. All right. So if the light is coming from the side, all the moss will be on the side where the light is coming from. So we're going to keep the wheel this way now. And that in that direction. Again, we just want to put it on the side where the sun is or where the light will be coming from. Okay. Maybe the, um, yeah, the other side would be having some of the, uh, let's get the pliers. where the light would have come in all right so let's let's let the uh, the wheel dry and let's take care of the, uh, the treasure chest top so the light was coming from this way so you can see we put some moss over here Just like that all right and it's going to be open like this so the light will be coming from that direction so all right let's we'll give that a little while to dry Yeah, that looks really cool. What do you guys think? And when we do the wash, um, it'll bring out the skull and it'll bring out all the details. But I don't want to paint the skull over directly because I still want it to glow. Okay, we're ready to move on. 
But the problem, I'm glad I realized it. I keep forgetting about this project. There are actually decals that need to go on these parts. Um, decals that are going to go on the plates. Decals that are actually even going to go on the ship's wheel. And decals that are going to go on the treasure chest on the sides. When I remembered it, I was like, well, you know what, I'll just, I'm not going to bother. Because I think it came out okay, but I, I got to put this, I got to put the decals on. We only need four of them. <clears throat> so instead of cutting them out individually, I think we're going to put them all. We'll, uh, we'll wet it with my, my tweezers. And I've got a solution of lukewarm water. And I've got... Um, a little bit of humectant, a little bit of dish soap in here, just a drop. Got, we're gonna use this for the goblet. So we got a silver goblet. The lock is classic, by the way. I never noticed that before. Love it. Okay. There are some other decals. I know this is gonna go on to the pirate hat, the captain's pirate um, hat. And we've got these. I'm not sure what these are going to go for. All right, so it looks like this is going to go just like this. <clears throat> Let's kind of wipe off the excess. Hopefully you guys can see that. It'll be a little more prominent on the other side at least until we put the moss back on, so. And that looks pretty good too. All right, so let's, hopefully you guys be able to see this. And then we can just touch up the moss all right, let's do this side now. See, it's got a good guideline because the little part in the middle lines up perfect with the pole. Let's see, I got a couple more that I need to put on that they ended up ripping. And that looks pretty good. All right, so let's wipe off the extra moisture. And I think what I want to do now is we'll put some micro set on. Well, we'll put some micro set in a minute. Let's um, let's do all the decals, shall we? All right. Let's put that lock on. I'm in a hurry to see how cool this looks. <laughs> Look how cool that looks. That looks really great. I gotta tell you, I think uh, it was a good idea putting the decals on. All right, I think those are all the decals that are gonna go on the top of the treasure chest. Before we uh, put some setting solution on that, we're gonna do the, uh, the plates and the goblet now.
All right, let's do the goblet now. Hopefully you can see that how really cool that looks so what we're going to do now is now we're going to put on a setting solution that's going to look really cool you can tell that there's something near it doesn't overpower everything that's a good thing all right so let's let that dry now all right let's do the uh the treasure chest and let's get that lock into place get it set and what this is actually going to do it's going to shrink because you see there's an indentation in the plate and the decal is kind of folded up but what the micro set's going to do is it's actually going to melt it all right let's do the other one not not so much melt the decal but it's going to have it shrink to form fit all right that looks pretty good so, what I want to do now is we're going to put the copper as well. There. That looks pretty good. Yeah, we don't want to cover it up completely. It looks pretty good. And we'll do just a bit on the other side. The decals are pretty much translucent, so you know, try to. You could put some like here and there over the sticker or the decal to show that the moss is on it. See, that looks pretty good. You can see it looks a little bit too new, so we're going to have to do more of the moss, and we'll do the moss over the silver. I like to use some of the thinner, kind of like the solution we use for the, uh, the paintbrush, the airbrush, but way thinner than that. So let's do a little bit. You can see how it goes right up into the brush, and let's just do a real quick area. I don't want to. I don't want to get in the habit of just kind of like brushing it on because it will tend to wash away because it's thinner. So we don't want to make it too um, abrasive. We just want to dinge it down. Okay, so I had some time to dry and check out how it looks all dingy. It doesn't look shiny and nice like it did earlier. It looks like it's been around for a while. You can see, oh, check it out. Look at how the, uh, the decals, the, uh, the micro set, brought it down to cling to the plate. It looks so good. All right, so I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna glue everything onto place and then we'll do a final touch up. snaps into place and with the super glue that's really not going to go anywhere <laughs> love it look at that all right now for the for the top I think I want to do a little bit of a a little bit of a dry brush let's see
So we want to take the brush get it nice and saturated and we want to kind of dry it off just a bit and what we want to do is we want to just kind of bring out all of the the folds in the uh, material remember it's probably been torn it's probably really wet. I like that. Nice. Maybe a little bit of the dry brush. You know, I think I like the dry brush better than I do the, uh, the wash. So you can see the black is going to bring out. Look at that. What a difference. So the black brings out a lot of the, uh, the detail, especially with the, uh, the dry brush. It looks really good. I like the dry brush better. All right, let's go ahead and we gotta glue it into place now onto the top of the treasure, tre treasure chest. And remember, we got a pin missing, so we're going to have to be very careful. That could actually work to our benefit if it's uh, broken because the hinge could be broken after all these years. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put some super glue in this area. And we're gonna put some onto the pegs. Again, we're gonna make sure that this doesn't go anywhere. push that down a little bit more. Just like that, that's a little bit better. Can have a bit of the wash kind of run down the wheel. See how it brings out the detail?
Let's see how the wheel is starting to look real, like grungy. That's exactly what we want. Look at that, how cool does that look? Maybe we can do just a bit on the, the skull. side there how cool is that looking huh and that's just about everything we got left to do so did the base we got all the gold the doubloons we put in some pieces of eight and we put in some copper we did the candelabra we did the goblet we did the sword we did the pirate's hand in the back we did the guy on the side in the uh, treasure chest with the spider on his head we did the, tre the uh, treasure chest. Look at the back. You can see the, the way the wood looks. And you can see the wheel. The grungy wheel. Love the way the dishes came out. Maybe they look a little too good. <laughs> But that's the base, and we do have some extra parts to put on. Um, I'm thinking of putting the, the skull around here, and we're going to put a candle on his head, or I'm thinking of something like that. But this video, I wanted to get the base painted and all set for, uh, for the rest of the model. Now we can focus on the pirate, and we can focus on lighting the base. So this is going to be really fun. So my friends, I thank you so much for watching, and this concludes part two. This is the base, the painting of the base. We're going to continue on. We're going to do the pirate himself, the pirate captain. And we're going to have some fun with some lights too. So until the next video, thank you so much for watching. And take care. Happy Halloween.